Well, hey everybody, today we're going to do a startup and little mini tour of a 1989 Toyota SR5 pickup. This thing looks like a little beast. It's freaking cool. Got the V6 in it, and this isn't the first time I've filmed a video like this with <laughs> my buddy Bruce here. So, is it, is it four wheel drive? Yeah, it's four wheel drive. Check that out. Automatic hubs. I've driven an older one like this, but it it had the manual hubs so oh, yeah. this one's a little fancier so we're going to show the outside of course got a little canopy on it some pretty cool tires they're 15 inch sr5 not plastic that's awesome we don't like plastic four-wheel drive mud flaps on it can you see in the back is it easy to open uh yeah should be so we got the bed. That's cool. Yeah. I like the revolver staring back at you right there. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool too. I haven't opened the bed yet, so I Oh, your first time. Yeah. <laughs> Virgin <laughs> hood opener. That was fast. All right. What we got? So it's three liter V6. I had an old Forerunner. It's probably a '92. Yeah. And this was probably in about 2004 or so. So it wasn't super old, but it had the three liter V6 just like this. Kind of a gutless wonder. I thought, you know, for a three liter V6, it'd have more power. But Toyota's never really been. No. It, they're more reliable <coughs> and bulletproof than they are the fast. Yeah. <coughs> Looking good. It's pretty clean in here. Yeah. Get a Bymart battery. I tend to get Bymart batteries too. Yeah. They have a bigger warranty than the Walmart ones and they're only like 20 bucks more. <coughs> yeah, so is this talking about a timing belt maybe? Probably yeah. 216.9 will be the next. I notice there's a really big well, timing belt over cover. There. It's over there now. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Well let's hope they were being conservative on when it needed it. And underneath here it's got a skid plate when you go off road and you don't really want to bang up all your junk underneath your car it's pretty handy yeah. so what what are the models on the odometer here 227,000 227 yeah all right let's go look at the engine while it's running Oh, it's nice. So quiet. That's what mine did too. It kind of revs the fan up when the engine revs up. It's kind of a Toyota thing, I've noticed. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera or not, but I'll show you what the exhaust sounds like in the back end. Yeah, I can hear it being a little, a little grumbly under there. Yeah. Where does the pipe? Oh, it comes out over here. There it is. Being all exhausty and stuff. <laughs> so it's got this little rear area here. Do the seats, oh, so the seats come from the yeah, back. The seats fold down, yeah. I remember an old, uh, I think I sat in like an old Ford Ranger and it had the seats that came down from the, from the sides. It was, so you sit sideways in the back. Yeah. This uh, thing. I mean, if you don't have knees, it's not a, not a big deal. <laughs> it's a little windows open. Yeah. Little change holder. Oh, does this come down too? Um, it should, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple thing, but I've never really seen one that yeah that pretty, opens. It's pretty cool. It's like it's built into it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But it's a five-speed. Yeah. yeah, five speed. <laughs> Show you what the headlights look like. Probably fix that for pretty cheap. Yeah. 
it refreshes the whole front end when yeah. you do those little things. Yeah, definitely. And it's got a rack up top. That's yeah, yeah. the part I didn't really notice. It's got a little rack up there. Really, I would just use use the bars as extra tie downs if I needed to put stuff up there or something. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. Do you have any? How, how long have you been driving it? I just got it yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You're liking it so far? Yeah. That's super awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions for Mr. Bruce here about it, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Give it a big thumbs up because we love thumbs up. These old Toyotas are freaking awesome, man. They hold their value like yeah. crazy. Yeah especially the pickups and they're they're just they're super hard to find um that aren't that don't have like 300 400 thousand miles on them yeah. or that didn't get you know for the most part people don't destroy them as far as modifications they do that with hondas not <laughs> not these but it's it's pretty cool i bet you it does really good off road so all right everybody thanks for watching Bye bye